it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and another video for the rabbit hole designs. Today we're working with caffeinated critters from the latest release, but also every caffeinated critter that I have in my collection. So I'm just showing you here everything I have. I also picked up uh, the two caffeinated critters, the ostrich and the porcupine, that I did not have from this month's release. So I have those to work with as well had them all stamped out and here I'm showing you that they are all colored and would you believe that I intended on using my scan and cut to cut them out and fussy cut them all out totally forgot about it again so now I have a sheet here a full sheet of Nina 110 pound classic crest solar white cardstock and I'm trimming it down to be an 8 by 10 panel so here I'm showing you you can then stick this when you're finished into an 8 by 10 frame with no mat or into an 11 by 14 frame with a mat that's made for an 8 by 10 photo and I did choose to go with the larger frame and this is a Christmas gift for somebody so hopefully they don't watch this video before they receive their Christmas gift so here I added the coffee shop background here but I changed it to fit my needs so I stamped out two of the background I stamped out an extra uh, image with the two bar stools just in case a whole bunch of the lights three of the long shelf a couple of the smaller shelves and three of the photo frames and the third photo or wall hanging I masked off the uh, coffee 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 and inserted the coffee compound symbol so now I'm just going to use some aqua teeny and I've pretty much decided where I want the wall to end and the floor to begin and I had to kind of place the image in my mind of how many critters were going on here make sure I had enough floor room and it's not going to be a perfect wall because there's going to be a lot of things on that wall and then a lot of critters in the background so I just ink blended it to look like a wall and now I'm going in at an angle and drawing half inch lines all the way across and then I'll go in from the other side and do it again so I can create some tiles it was at this point after I had it all drawn went over it with my black fine tip pen and colored it in that I had wished I remembered how to draw per with perspective now I remember learning it in art in grade school but I just didn't remember enough to attempt it and try again so we went with this and with all the critters on it I mean it looks like a, you can tell it's a floor so I think next time I might kind of reteach myself how to draw with perspective so it can come in handy for next time I also wanted to mention while you're watching me color these last few tiles if you saw me point, pointing left and right like a dope at the beginning of the video over the colored images that was to make sure that if you attempt this you pay attention to the critters you have which ones are facing to the left which ones are facing to the right and which ones are staring straight ahead because that's going to affect where you place them in your picture so now I have the floor all finished and we're going to start figuring out what parts of the coffee shop background that we want to use. I decided to only use one counter that was coming out at an angle and just extend the counter going straight across with the, the bar stools. I did trim some of the images off of the parts of the countertop that I did not use so I could add them if I wished to the countertops that were being used. How many times do you think I can say countertop in one sentence? So now that I have this glued on, we're going to trim off the excess and then I'm going to start adding the stuff on the walls before I start adding the critters. So we have the three shelves and the three photos and the two little shelves and then a lot of lights to hang from the ceiling. Uh, while I'm doing this, I do want to mention that because this is going inside a frame behind glass or at least I thought it was going behind glass that's something we'll get to at the end I didn't want to use 
a lot of foam tape to add dimension to the critters that were standing in front of others. So the ones I knew were going to be towards the front of the picture, I stamped out more than one image. And that way I could add slight dimension by layering up cardstock rather than using foam tape. I did use a little foam tape for the foremost front critters, but other than that, it was all layered cardstock, kind of like adding dimension to your cut die cut sentiments. So now I'm just finish, finishing up gluing the lights, and then I'll just trim off all the excess. And then we have our background. You see how even though I put that floor at an angle, it still looks like it's coming straight down. That's why I think perspective would come in handy. So I'm just showing you, I played around with them a lot more than this, but I just wanted to show you how I started figuring out where everything was going to go. Which images I wanted in the background, which ones I wanted in the foreground. So it did not end up coming out like I showed you. I knew I definitely wanted this spider up on the top, sitting, looking like he was sitting on the photo, but he was actually hanging from the ceiling. And I will, I did not do it, I forgot, but I will, before I mail this out, draw a spider web from the ceiling to the spider's head. And now I'm going to show you that I'm layering some of these critters with their extra pieces of cardstock. The vulture has a tree trunk that he's sitting on. So he had to kind of go off to the edge in the background. And I picture him as a big bird anyway, so it didn't matter perspective-wise that he was larger and in the background because he would be much bigger than like the butterfly that's sitting on the stool near him. The little crab I have, I colored him to look like a blue crab like the ones I see in Myrtle Beach. He's sitting on top of the countertop. Then we have our giraffe who was originally looking in the general direction of the boxer dog, but Mr. Boxer Dog did not end up staying there. And then of course we have the turkey looking at Rudolph. I always call the reindeer Rudolph, and he almost always has a red nose. And then we have the chameleon there right in front of the butterfly. And this is where I started layering more dimension to the pieces I knew were going towards the front. So now we have the llama off to the right of the card and the unicorn on the right side. Did I say left for the llama? Left for the llama, right for the unicorn. The cat's looking ahead so he can pretty much go anywhere or she. So she's right there slightly in front of the chameleon with the boxer in front of the chameleon and the koala in front of the rhinoceros. Poor Mr. Rhinoceros. Every time I've layered up a multiple image like this, he always ends up in the back with his horn mostly covered. So I tried not to cover his horn this time. I, put, I added dimension to the bee with foam tape and added him up over the blue crab. And then I put foam tape on the porcupine and the ostrich. Those are the two that are at the very front, but only where they wouldn't be touching other characters because I didn't want it to be too bumpy. So now I'm showing you here that after I bought my frame, somehow my kids managed to crack the glass. Nobody said a word to me. I didn't know until I went to pick it back up. I did purchase a mat off of Amazon to add to my frame, which seems slightly too big. So when I put it in, my frame came apart at the bottom, guys. I swear, nothing was working right when it came to this video. So I glued it back together for the purpose of the video and for taking photos, but it will have a new frame with glass when I give it to the person it's for. So here are the pictures. There's no glass, which I guess turns out better for the photos anyway. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email so you can be aware of all the newest releases and on Instagram to check out all the inspiration from the design team. And we will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye for now.